Okay, I'm going to say this like I would to my husband, to all the people who don't believe in the Bible and the teachings and all of that. Look at it like a, a storybook that's trying to teach you lessons, like fables. If you look at it like that, the lessons that you can be taught through the Bible are incredible. And then, you know, let me know what you think about a man named Jesus. <laughs> but don't give me a hard time. What I'm doing and what I'm experiencing and what I believe in is bringing me joy and healing and love and light to my life. I, I have beautiful angels out there rooting me on every day no i can't quote the bible but just like the 12 steps in in the program of aa the writings and the teachings are absolutely beautiful and there are lessons to be learned if you have an open mind this has been a huge part of my healing I have not been alone here. No, I don't hear voices. I just follow the doors that are being opened. Like today, I had no idea I was going down this road. Daniel Peer, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. And Ellie, and there's so many of you out there that aren't afraid to shine and, and aren't afraid to say where the strength is coming from. <laughs> Call it nature if you want to, but please at least, at least check out the fable, the story, the teachings. This is, this has been my healing. You've seen the prayer tree on the wall. You've seen the friends that I my new family look at their eyes they're just absolutely beautiful children of god all of you are even if you can't feel him i believe that's why i've made it this far you guys this is one of my testimonies i don't do this well because I haven't read the whole Bible yet. I'm being taught as I go. And it's been pretty dang fascinating. Yes, I know a lot of you say it was written by men. So like I said, just keep an open mind. Their teachings, their lessons learned. You know how we all used to sit around as families and listen to the grandparents tell the stories of how, you know, <laughs> little Joey did this or that, but he learned something from it, right? Well, I hope whatever you believe in is loving. That's the most important thing. I hope you can believe in something other than yourself. My God, my higher power, the universe, whatever you want to call it, is so loving, so loving. It's not here to punish me. It's here to help me learn and teach me so that I can be happy here and not cause harm to others. No more destruction. My, my higher power is love, and I hope you can feel that through me. I've been trying so hard to let you know how loved you truly are. <laughs> You're beautiful, okay? <sighs> Shine. Go ahead and shine. Let that love out. That's what's going to heal all of us. Don't be afraid to shine. People are going to hate you for it. They're going to hate you for it because it's out of their comfort zone. 
<laughs> and some people just like to be miserable. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be. I hope you can join me. I'm not preaching. I don't care. I, I, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I just wanted to let you know. This is my healing. I believe. Forever windows, lawyers. <laughs> and yes, I cuss and do all kinds of stupid stuff. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to show up with love. 